We're live! I think... <laughs> I think we're live. Yeah, we're live. Okay. Okay. What's happening, peeps? It's been a while. So, here's the crack. We're, we're gonna go live. <laughs> That's the crack. That's the deal. We're... we're uh, we're gonna be streaming a bit more um i am gonna be so for people who aren't aware which there's some people who are aware and some who are, some who are not um i live in a school bus right and there's some cool things about that and there's some challenges about that um more importantly is how i use the internet i use starlink and starlink is still working out its kinks when it comes to stuff like streaming because what can happen is it can switch between satellites and it'll dip like less than a second. So if you're watching this, it might look like I've stopped the stream randomly at some point during the stream, but I haven't. You just need to refresh the page. It's kinks I'm trying to work out. But more importantly, we're going to be staying pretty much in one spot for the winter. Um, and I thought that would be a great opportunity to start streaming again. Now that Call of Duty is coming out, we've got a beta coming up this weekend. We've got some really cool stuff happening. So I thought it'd be really cool to start streaming again. That's the dealio. And there you go. It, it, let, let's look at the chat. Sayo says, what do you plan on streaming regular? Probably going to be Call of Duty with the new Modern Warfare 2. I'm very excited for it. Um, I've currently got Battlefield 2042 up. I've got Dan in the stream. Say hi, Dan. Hello. Who you might recognize from old Twitch streams, uh, which was a ton of fun. So we're going to be doing a lot of that, and it's going to be really awesome. So get hyped for that. Again, it's going to take time to work out some kinks. It might look like I go offline for a second, but just refresh your page and you'll find out that I'm not offline until I turn around and say to you guys, I am not online anymore. I'm going, goodbye. That's when I'll be going. Okay, so just refresh the page. Let's have a look at chat. Axe in the chat. Hey, the beta. Hey, for the beta, you down to party up tomorrow. Tomorrow, Steph, what time are we heading out tomorrow? He said, like, between noon and three, I think. So, we I've got to go somewhere tomorrow to sell a TV. Um, which means I will be probably maybe on in the morning to play some of the beta. Um, I'm in mountain time right now. So, like, 9 a.m., 10 a.m. in the morning for me is two hours behind East Coast, seven hours behind... BST. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay. Are you going to be recording the Modern Warfare 2 campaign series? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So, just word of warning. Like I said, if you see anything um, weird on the stream, if it, if, if it starts to lag, um, just let me know in the chat. Okay, let me pop out chat. Pop out chat. Let's get rid of that. Let's put that there. Cool. Luke's selling the TV to fund his... I'm not going to say that, Blaze. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> You're going to watch Andor. I haven't watched it yet. Steph and I are going to watch it tonight. Don't say anything about Andor. Uh, you playing Ready or Not 2 sometime? Some? Uh, yeah. I could play that one day if it's on console. Um, bet, bet. Why is everyone saying bet? Is it just on YouTube? Cool. You playing Ready or Not? Yeah. Dutch, you just said that. Anyway. Uh, Dan, are we going to show people how shit we are at, uh, that's not the page I want up. That's the page I want up. Are we going to see how shit we are at Battlefield? Dude, I'm so ready to go negative. Let's do it. Are, are we in the party together? Uh, I think so. I how made you the, the hoo-ha. Oh, yeah, we are. Um, Conquest? Sure, why not? Regular Conquest? Probably just console for now until I work out some kinks, okay? That's going to be the, the dealio. Uh, this is going to be a super chill stream. We're just going to, you know, bit of Q&A when it comes to streaming. We're going to play some games. We're going to have some fun. Uh, this is basically just a test stream for the future, right? I want to stream a lot more and um, I want to have fun with you guys, right? So, yeah. Excuse me. Just got back from a hike of the Grand Canyon. You should totally check it out if you guys ever take the bus to Arizona. We're going to Arizona January. 
There's this, there's an event in Arizona called Schooly Palooza, and it's where Schooly Palooza, and it's where all the people with schoolies go. I went to a schoolie event um, in Florida in February or something like that, and it was absolutely fire. You stole, you stole me kill. Dan, I'm coming for you. You have a res? Oh, I don't know. Wait, you don't have to, I forgot. You boys! Okay, I'm getting killed! Me. I got killed, but I rest you in time! Where, where from? <laughs> what do you think Anthony is a good signing for United? I think he's a great signing for United. Yeah, I think he's a great signing for United. Oh, someone rest me! Where are we shooting? I've got, why have I got kill? sniped? Let's go. Oh, I'm dead again. Yep, there we go. Um, game kind of junky. Apparently, it's had some good updates. We'll see if it is any good. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get a different loadout, though. Sector Foxtrot has been secured. Let's go this dude. I like this dude. I don't play this often. I'm just... Than they do. Good work. You dead, Dan? I'm going yeah, D1. I'm just messing with my sensitivity. Okay. It feels so weird after playing so much. I played. We played so much of the beta for Modern Warfare oh, 2, Dan, God. didn't we? It was a lot. It was so much fun. It was. It, if anything, playing with you guys again on that beta just made me realize how much I genuinely do miss our streams together. Me too. Oh, I'm going to get killed here. I miss our streams a lot. Um, so, that's why I want to do it again. Ax says, Luke, all I'm going to say is that Mark wasted money gifting this game to me. <laughs> oh, jeez. What's up, buddy? That is playing an adult game that you can't play, so you got to get... It's called Battlefield, and it's not a, it's not a kid game. What's a battlefield? Well, it's... <sighs> Jesus Christ, what a loaded question. Um, so a battlefield is a place... It's, it's, a, it's an area <laughs> in which people fight. Uh, but the game is named after that. Yeah, we're just... We're running around. Daddy's losing because he hasn't... He's not good. <laughs> chat he's an innocent mind he's four in a couple weeks which i'm very excited for we're gonna have some fun with him at four year old we're gonna take him um to in fact i'm not gonna say because he'll hear it and i don't want him to know what we're gonna do Wait, will he hear it if I say it? go on no 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 no. we're in colorado yeah, disney colorado oh, I saw there's, there's one in colorado yeah definitely no way there's a sure. Disney in Colorado. Yeah. Totally. I don't think there is. There's one in no, California there's, and there's, there's one in Florida and that's it. Yeah, and then the one in Colorado. There's not a Disney in Colorado. It totally is. There's, no, I don't believe you. You're just a non-believer. I don't believe you. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Are you serious? Totally. No, you, no, you, you're having me on. Having Dude, me on. after they legalized weed, it was a natural. <laughs> the first thing they did. Well, weed's legal. <laughs> Let's make a Disneyland here. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you? I mean, that's a great idea. I just don't think. I don't think that was. That's that's a real reason. I don't think Disney's priority is that. If I'm honest with you, there's four people there. Yeah, I think you just haven't been to Disney. <laughs> oh, I have. <laughs> I've had some fun at Disney. Oh, In no. fact, um, a couple years ago, I went to uh, Disney and Universal when it was Halloween, and we did a like a Stranger Things walk around at Universal, and it was like, oh, it was so cool! It was awesome. There was like people running about trying to scare you and stuff, and it was great. It was nothing to do with weed, but it was great. <laughs> Oh my god, Luke, your child has nearly the same mental age as you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Blaze. I've only just started streaming again. 
All right, how do I... Oh, there we go. All right, I need a scope on this bad boy. Also, I can't see shit in this game. I haven't killed a single person. How's the stream been so far? Has it dipped at any point, guys? How have I been? I've been all right. I've been all right. We've just kind of being very sedentary right now with the boss just trying to save a bit of money you know there's thoughts about moving back to england uh there's a few different things bits and bobs that we're thinking about so it's it's a time for relaxation and saving right now with me and me fam i gotta kill let's go someone shoot me Oh, on your right? Yeah, I've seen somewhere over there. Oh, I see him. Over there somewhere? Ow. Where was that? He's by the tree. Yeah. I can't see, can't see yeah, shit in this tree. game. I can't see shit. Should put my spectacles on. Spectacles? Luke, Luke, turn your field of view down. I'm surprised. I'm not surprised you can't see shit. Yeah, I probably should. One second. Let field me turn. you down. I probably got it maxed out. Knowing me, I want to see everything. My yeah, fucking owl. Yeah, is better. <laughs> 105 is king. Do not right. slander. Fucking so much shit on my head. I can't get these spectacles on. Ah, oh, be revived, my dude. All right, well, I still need to sort out me. Where is where's options? Display. Motion blur off. Good. Field of view. 105. Yeah, 105 is king. Oh. Oh, we, we lost. Anyway. Squad retreat. Luke, time. did you poop yourself when you first saw Mr. X in Resident Evil 2 Remake? Is that what he's called? Mr. X? I, have, I had no, no idea what it was. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Why is he massive? Why is he following <laughs> me? And he could follow me into like the safe spot at the beginning. I couldn't believe it. I don't know. I don't, can you kill him? I threw a flashbang at him and he looked dazed for like half an hour. What? Oh. Do you want to speak to the chat? Mm, I'm tired. What? You're going to say something? Sorry. Because you're on chat? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. What are you doing? We just have a long time. Okay. Alright, get out of here. Anyway. I see. 105 ain't that much. Put FOV like 85 or something. Really? Hey, ew. He's indestructible. Uh, so you can't kill Mr. X in in Resident Evil? I don't want to waste ammo on him on the game because I barely have any ammo on the game. Like, at all. Come on, let's roll. I think you can stun him, but I don't think you can actually kill him. So he just follows you forever in that game? It just keeps I following think you. So? Jesus Christ. Talk about anxiety. I'm I've already got sure enough anxiety just, uh, in this life. I've just seen all the memes with the X Clone Give It To You theme behind it. <laughs> Mint. Oh, my knees. I went for a five mile run yesterday. My knees are absolutely blown out. Lower my FOV. I don't know if I want to. I want to see everything. I want to see behind me. I want to have eyes on the side of my head like some sort of donkey. Do you know what I mean? Donkey? Yeah, donkeys have eyes on the side of their head. It's not like forward, is it? It's like... I mean... Why is my mic flaccid? I guess, but that's such a... I don't know, whenever I think animals with, like... Side eyes, I don't think donkey is usually my first guess, you know? <laughs> I just... I was trying to think of something, I don't know. <laughs> like a donkey. I mean, dude, you do you, you know? <laughs> Mr. X is the pyramid head of Resident Evil. Pyramid head from Silent Hill. 85 to 90 is good for battlefield engagement ranges. I only use 100 plus for arena shooters. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about that. All seats occupied. Does that mean I gotta run like a fucking decade no, to get don't anyway? Run away. You only have two out of four. Oh, thank you, Mr. Friendly Tank. 
Oh, mate, I've been left behind. Me and these boys here, we're going for a jog. <laughs> Freaking running simulator over here. I did five miles yesterday. Yeah, and my knees are really hurting. Um, original human air got some fire, absolute fire custom battlefield three custom maps. Um, you'll love them, want to know them. Maybe you can play them sometime. It do be PC only though. Um, yeah, guys. If anyone, I tell you what, people ask me, do I play PC games? Have a look at my videos and scroll all the way about two years ago when I tried to play um, Escape from Tarkov, and you'll know why I don't use mouse and keyboard. Then you'll figure out, oh, that's why this guy doesn't use mouse and keyboard, because he's an absolute fool. Absolute fool. It looks like I'm losing. Guys, give me a little little check up in the chat. How's the stream looking? I'm losing I'm losing uh, internet, apparently. Apparently, I'm struggling right now. a little robotic. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh. It's just a little glitchy. It's fine though. Yeah, it dips every now and again, then comes back, and then it's. All right, this is the map I really like sniping in. I like getting on top of that boat and just. I mean, it's a small, it's a big boat in it. <laughs> Ship. Do you want to know a fun fact? When I was um, doing anti piracy. We were in the middle of absolute nowhere. Get this right. And there was a tanker ship. One of these massive tanker ships like this one. Sinking in a storm. Oh, there's a tank. And we had to go and figure out what the crack was. And be on standby and help them out. Because it was going down. This massive tanker ship was like on its side. It was unbelievable to see. Yeah, it was unbelievable. So you, you actually did anti pirates The whole shebang, eh? Correct, I did. I did. That's crazy. Yeah. It feels like a lifetime ago. Get in, like, did you ever get in a firefight with pirates? Um, yes and no. Do we... It's, it's kind of hard to explain. It's not as simple as that. Do you know what I mean? But no, the... I'm really confused. What? Uh, no, uh, how's it not, uh, like, simple? Because there's different types of contact, right? There is a ship coming pissing about, and... Let me get out of this freaking helicopter. Oh, you boy. There's different types of contact. There's a, you know, there's people coming messing about, um... And you shooting warning shots. There's people coming messing about, and I'm miles away here. For fuck's sake. And getting into a firefight. There's, there's loads of different versions of it, isn't there? Um, okay, I, I see. But there were a lot of really bizarre things that happened out there. Bizarre things. Ooh, but the... Story time? The... Pirates, which is it's so... It's weird calling them pirates, but that's what they are, right? Like, pirates... You, it's all of a sudden, your mind goes to, like, fucking Johnny Depp, doesn't it? But, know, right? but that's not the case. Oh, that's me, mate. Um, usually these people are kids who are being forced to do something they don't want to do um, because they need food, they need money, they're on drugs. There's, like, it's, it's, a, it's a weird thing to think of, like, when someone comes and, like, pisses about with the ship, that sometimes there might be just a spotter for other people. Sometimes... They're just curious fishermen. Sometimes they are pirates looking to do something dodgy. So what happens is there was five of us. Usually if something did happen, one lad would go onto the bridge. Um, and then there'd be four guns. There's two GPM... Well, in fact, there's six guns. There's four GPMGs, general purpose machine guns. And then there's two mini guns. So you can imagine one mini gun each side, two GPMGs each side. Um... And depending on, you know, like, depending on what's going on, where they are, how things are going, will depend on what gun you use, um, you know, will depend on, like, 
maneuvers for the ship because obviously the ship can only put one side head on to whatever's looking at it so th there's a lot of you know you see these movies where it's like super simple but it's really not oh my god i'm so shit at this game interesting are you cool with sharing like maybe the craziest thing that you saw while you were craziest you know, thing that I, I think pirates? one of the most shocking things i saw was that ship going down because it's such a big thing like it's it's not just as we were on a hundred foot long flat bottom survey ship that was actually not owned by the british military was actually um rented to the british military um uh, so when you see this absolutely ginormous shipping vessel that's like five times bigger like you can't even comprehend how freaking big this thing is going down like it blows your mind like you expect to see people shoot at you you join the military right like you expect that type yeah. of thing but seeing something like that genuinely sh and other things as well that is um not so much scary is i remember i was on the bridge one day and um i'm looking out at the horizon we're in the middle of nowhere right R super hot day I'm looking out the horizon and and um it's not often you see waves break in the middle of the ocean right it's usually just like flowing unless it's like a really big storm but it wasn't a storm but it was all white on the horizon i'm like what the? and i'm talking the whole horizon like as far as you can see so i'm speaking to the guys on the bridge and i'm like what like what is that like what am i looking at here and they're like it's dolphins and it wasn't just like you know, like a few dolphins. I'm talking thousands and thousands of dolphins on the horizon. It's stuff like that that you don't expect to see that really makes you go, holy shit. Like, I've not seen something like that before. Do you know what I mean? Which is not, you know, being shot at, but it's it's a shocking moment that you're not used to. That's crazy. Like getting shot is like the everyday well it's not the no everyday thing but it's what you expect right like at the end of the day you've joined the royal marines commandos like you've done live drive like live firing drills you're practicing out on ship you're doing all these different things that that you, it's your job right it's like getting a coding job and be you know oh look you've got a new game you've got a code like yeah I understand that. Like, that's what I signed up to do. Do you know what I mean? That's not the shocking part of it. The shocking part would be going to do a coding job and then everyone turns up to work naked and you're like, what's going on? That's the shocking uh, part. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the no, things you don't you. expect. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad analogy, but I'm just trying to like... Oh, no, it's a great analogy. I'm trying to just put into words what is weird and what isn't. Oh, fuck. Let's get a hovercraft. I don't think I've killed a single... I don't think I've killed a single person in this game yet. I don't know. I'm just running about and answering questions. And blabbering on. As for being shot at... It happens. Do you know what I mean? Like... You have to remember as well, like, even speaking to a lot of my friends who were out in Afghan. It's not like Call of Duty, right? Like, or Battlefield. Like, you're not... It, war isn't like that. Like, you're not, like, running around and... Picking up weapons and in the movies and stuff. What's happening is you're in formation. You're talking um, in Afghan when we, you know, when you go out there. You, you're looking for mines. You're making sure you're staying in the path. You're looking at your surroundings. If you come under contact, it's not always shoot, shoot, shoot. And sometimes you can't even see the enemy. Sometimes it's just there's something in that direction until you see a muzzle flash, and maybe you'll only see a muzzle flash. That's where you're going to fire at. And sometimes you're not even the person shooting. Sometimes you're comms. Sometimes you're helping out fill up magazines. Sometimes, do you know what I mean? Sometimes you're moving a barrel from one person to another because the GPMG's barrel's starting to get too hot. Sometimes you're just peeling left and doing suppressive fire while someone does a flank or a fake flank. You get know what I'm saying? It's not always yeah. like run around shoot. It's... There's a lot more right. to it. And that's what you practice, right? You come under contact, you hit the ground, you, you do a couple shots, you move. A couple shots, you move left and right. You know, you're moving within like a six-foot square, kind of. And then your your IC, someone in command will be like, all right, we're going to do this, pull back into you know into cover here. We're going to peel right. We're going to go around and do... Two people are going to go over there for a flank, and then two people are going to go further around for like a fake flank. And 
there's there's loads of different things that happen and like if anything you come under contact and you're on comms if anything you're just shooting in a direction or trying to shoot whatever they what you think is the right area and then you know some obviously you would see enemies sometimes but it's more of a what are we doing okay where are we going we're working as a team we're helping each other out you know what can we do here you know yeah i know uh or at least i'm pretty sure obviously i'm kind of talking out of my ass here but i think the u.s does a lot of just straight up indirect fire yes and no safer. you say indirect fire but it is direct right the fire is direct it's just the <laughs> it, it's like like look how i'm playing battle i mean you can't see it i look at my people watching ch reading chat look at my screen now like i'm seeing this person here right and for the most part yeah you might see someone but sometimes you don't like and that's normal you know that's normal that's normal unless you're it's like you know the falklands one you're going into trenches with frigging entrenching tools trying to smash someone's head in or you're in world war ii and you're fixing bayonets or fixing bayonets in afghan which definitely has happened you know which I never saw anything like that, and I am very grateful that I didn't, because that would have messed me up further than I already am. And I'm already messed up, so. <laughs> How many people we got in the chat anyway? Like, I can't get the 40 viewers. I'm guessing the stream pops off every now and again, so we lose some viewers, but we'll get used to it. If we rage in yes. like card, the casual rate would be... Casualty rate would be atrocious. Exactly, yeah. There's a reason why tact like people do tactics. Tactics work. And it basically separates us from guerrilla warfare, right? Guerrilla warfare is atrocious in itself, but at the same time, like, there's a reason it works, right? There's a reason why the chaos sometimes beats the order. But nine times out of ten, communication working as a team all this stuff is far superior than the chaos of um guerrilla warfare you know can you imagine someone like bunny hopping around a corner and oh like slide slide cancel in <laughs> <laughs> imagine you mate it's like you'd be like mate fuck off the ground we got shit we're gonna do here <laughs> what <are> you doing <laughs> um loot crushing my paris dream listen war now is different you know afghan's not what it was like anti-piracy is still a thing um if you end up going to friggin ukraine or something like that then that's gonna be far different like every single thing's different right so my before my generation it was northern ireland and the falklands war right that was my dad's generation there was times in the falklands war where fixed bayonets was a thing this is my old um, W02. Apparently, the rumor was that he used an entrenching tool and frigging ran into people with it. That is much different, and it, that certainly happened in Afghan. But that's more that's much more different than anti piracy and stuff like that, right? So, yeah. the The chances of someone jumping on your ship when you're doing anti piracy is slim, but there's still a chance, and that's why that's that's why the boys are there, right? why they're there to protect the ship so yeah story time with luke luke stop camping you nerd i'm not i'm just trying to chat and jesus christ i'm just trying to chat and friggin shoot at the same time give me a break guys <laughs> uh get fucked yeah, I'll do what I want. I'm a grown ass <laughs> man. Make my own decisions, thank you very much. Uh I've been told by every para corporal at this point what happening and what I could encounter. So I don't know why that's hidden. Oh, it's because you swore on it. Um when it comes to the para did I message automatically health for review? I didn't mean to hide it. Um you have to remember the paras and the royal marines there's a lot of competition but we're also really good friends and there's a reason both units exist 
um one is more chaotic one's more um more uh how can i put it more precise right so you can expect the ca the paris to go in and blow everything up that's what you can expect the paris to do you can expect the royal marines to go in and infiltrate Right, they have different aspects that that work for both, and that's why both units are around. I don't like this weapon. I don't know why I'm using this weapon. I don't like the scope on it. I don't like the rate of fire on it with the scope. Who's shooting down here? Oh, mate, there's loads up here. Get stuff, mate. His mate got me. Are you going to do a playthrough of Lord of the Rings: Shadow of Mordor? Um, so the Sword and Scabbard channel, um. Me and my brother are thinking about that channel and how we can adapt it and change it and have both of us do it as like a little brotherly project because we both really like the fantasy genre. Him more anime manga, me more fantasy novels, um, you know, classic fantasy. So we're both kind of playing about with a few ideas on what we can do with that. I'm going to change my rifle after this, I think. What are you using for a rifle? Uh, man, whatever I got. I think it's just the M5 A3 is the name. I don't know. It's the basic bitch rifle. Right. Are you going to play Hogwarts Legacy when it comes out? You're fucking right I am. I'm so hyped for Hogwarts Legacy. I think he's going to disappear for at least a week when I'm so excited. Out. So excited for that game. Hogwarts Legacy, God of War, Ragnarok. Oh my god. God, I'm so excited for that game. Um, I don't know if you... I, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, Dan. But this makes me super happy. Um, FIFA 23. You never really get anything different in FIFA 23. In FIFA. That's all, really. It's a very... You expect... what You know what you're going to buy, right, with FIFA. If, do you know the show Ted Lasso, Dan? No, never heard it. So Ted Lasso is a show on Apple TV. I highly recommend it. I feel like you'd love it, Dan. It's basically... Um, the premise is there's a low-league football soccer team in England. And the owners want the team to fail. So what they do is they hire an American football uh, manager, coach to manage the soccer team he's never done anything with soccer before but he's do they're doing it to kind of ruin the team but he turns out to be a great coach and it's a it's such a wholesome fantastic story um and they're putting ted lasso and the full team in fifa 23 which is absolutely fantastic brilliant i'm super excited That's for it funny super excited for it Let's do... Well, actually, let's do that. Then let's do... Uh, I want maximum rifle, I think. Let's do that. Um, I start training in November, by the way. Luke passed all my tests. Congrats, Blaze. I know we always give each other shit for paras and marines or whatever. Um, But there, if you'll notice when you go in, there's a lot... Of competition competition between paras and royal marines um but there is also an incredible amount of respect between the two um so congratulations that's absolutely fantastic i'm really proud of you and i'm really happy for you and i hope you give us updates there's someone around here i hope you give us updates players because that's absolutely awesome you'll be a cherry berry in no time what? <laughs> they wear maroon berets. We wear green berets. They wear maroon berries, so we call them cherry berry. <laughs> Good God! You, you love it. Very it's... intimidating. I gotta tell you. <laughs> yeah, beware of the cherry berries. <laughs> they put Wrexham in FIFA too. Wrexham's wait. What league's Wrexham in? Have you played the Modern Warfare Two beta yet? Me and Dan, how much beta did we play, Dan? Too much. We played. Can I get a res friend? Wait, you're oh, close I see to you. Resi. Wait, stay there. I'm coming down. Resi. I'm coming for you. Du, du, du. Oh, I hit a wall. Du, du, du. Your boys got you. Yeah, we played a fuckload. 
of all the well at least two of the modes we played a lot of quick play and a lot of uh hostage rescue i really enjoyed ho i'm dead i really enjoyed hostage I'm rescue I'm getting shit yeah i'm getting my ass handed to me in this game i don't even know what i'm doing to be honest um yeah we i i really it's definitely got its issues right there's definitely got its issues but i would say the beta overall has been more enjoyable than Cold War and Vanguard beta. I can say that for a fact. And I would say that it's the multiplayer is more fun than Modern Warfare 2019 multiplayer. Because I didn't play much of that. I played just Warzone. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. And I, I have a feeling that I'm going to be playing a lot more multiplayer on Modern Warfare 2 than I did with 2019. Um, I just really hope oh, there's enemies in here. I just really hope that um can i use this that the war zone 2 is good as well i think i'm gonna play a lot of ground war mm. i love that mode in 2019 and i think i'm gonna love it here it was really good but yeah it's definitely a better game yeah what makes me nervous is that like for cold war i loved the beta i thought the beta was great but then the full game was just Lackluster. You're right. The, really the Cold War again. beta, we had a ton of fun playing, didn't we? Enemy right there. Oh shit! I missed every single freaking round. Then. Um, hostage rescue is just Rainbow Six Siege mixed with CTF. Do you know what? It I love Rainbow. So differently. It plays so different. I love Rainbow Six Siege, but if you don't play it on, oh my god! Did you see that rocket hit me? Holy shit. Um, if you don't play Rainbow Six Siege on a regular basis, you get shit very quick. But as Call of Duty, you can miss out for a few months, come back, and still roughly be at the same skill level. Because uh, they all play the same, and we've been playing Call of Duty games since the dawn of man, haven't we, really? Our generation. So that's how I feel about it. And, and it just fits so well. That hostage rescue, I don't know why they've not done it before. It fits so well in the game. It really does, especially with how they've done scoring. Like mm. That's what makes it so different from Siege, is that there's a much more dynamic scoring system that incentivizes you to do a whole bunch of things and implement new strategy that might put your team at risk, but gives you bigger rewards. Like, the big one was uh, if you ended a round, if you were trying to save the hostage, if you killed all the enemies, but you had a uh, hostage in hand, you got extra points for that. You so got the extra points. This really interesting dynamic where, okay, you've gotten them down for the last person. Instead of hunting down the last person, we're going to take the time and potentially risk ourselves to go pick up both hostages and try to not let this guy get res, uh, reses and not kill him mm. so we can get like 300 points in a round. It's really interesting. I had a really good time with it. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Uh, that face though, <laughs> with the two Canadian dollars, thank you for the donation, says, what is, what happened to Dead Space? Um, you're talking about the playthrough? My intention, if you remember when I played that first, because I only did one Dead Space video, why am I not, why am I not moving, oh, okay, um, was I wanted to see what the game's like, and then hold off until the remake comes out. So, I will probably play through it when the remake comes out. There's your answer. Uh, love the Resident Evil streams. Um, yeah, I'm glad you like them. Apart from the last one where the audio just disappeared. I don't know what happened there. Um, just Dutch person member for 13 months. Holy shoot. Been a while. You like Siege. I used to be semi-pro winning multiple Nats and coming fourth in a Europe Cup. Holy cow. Just the Dutch person. I didn't know that, mate. That's awesome. That's dope. They need to have a mode where it's clean house, but randomly generated buildings. Anytime, every time you play, I would actually have no life. Yeah, the thing is with clean house is it's so immaculately placed and more cinematic than it is um, gameplay. That that's why it's so good. Um, so I don't know whether that would work as well. They did do hostage rescuing ghosts, but you know, ghosts was trash. So no one cared. It's a shame because Ghost Recon has a lot of potential to be fantastic. And they've ruined it. The, the last game, well, it was okay. But I don't care about the map. I don't care about the story or anything like that. The gameplay is fun, but I don't care about anything else. They need to make you care about the characters in the game and the story. That's what they need to do with them games. And a few other things, but... Oh, 
unlocked extended barrel <clears throat> i'm very intrigued to see what warzone 2 is going to bring because if it's good then it means that we play it like we used to and that makes me very excited very excited even if it's not good i'm probably gonna play like that much no lifing in ground war because i really enjoyed ground war yeah i'm probably gonna play it a lot no matter what anyway yeah we're hopeless addicts if you couldn't tell i know right uh rising storm 2 is a great game i haven't played it i'm hyped for resident evil 4 remake coming in march well hopefully like i said we'll play through all the games my plan is to stream more um so expect some of the future gameplay things to be streamed rather than just premiered now uh hear me out original human siege pro league team i coach and manage we pull people from the community and go to war with the na leader ladder that would be actually pretty cool and thank you also for the 10 euros um that would actually be really cool but rainbow six siege ah, do you know what with that game i loved it when it first came out and then we started getting people who went to space and shit like that. And it just got a bit, uh, you know, like it got a bit weird. So I'm holding off on that game until they do something new with it. Possibly a sequel, even though they said that that game's going to last 10 years. Which, how long, how, how old's that game now? Five years? Jeez, uh, it's been a while. I think longer than five years. Really? If I had to guess, probably launched in 2014 or 2015. Yeah, so we might be coming near to the end of its life cycle. Um, we, uh, when a new one comes out, you can expect me to start looking into it then. Um, if anything, I want to really work hard for the new Call of Duty. There's going to be a two year gap without a new Call of Duty, so we're going to get more content for Modern Warfare 2 than probably any other Call of Duty we've had for a long time. Um, which gives me hope for stuff like Warzone 2. Because if you remember Warzone, it wasn't made for multiple games and they kept adding stuff in that didn't really work. So I'm hoping. Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 has enough time to really um, grasp the community like a Call of Duty hasn't done before. And with that, it makes me want to really invest more. It makes me want to invest more time into it, you know? I think Seven we're years. Approach Warzone 2 with a very different appearance. And yeah, it launched in uh, December of 2015. Damn. You know. Seven years. But, so yeah, um, we must be coming to the ass end of that game now then. Just about. But uh, I think we need to approach Warzone 2 with a very different mindset because it's so different. I agree. It's going to take time. I think what happens, obviously, Steven's busy now, back with work. We're not in, you know, we're not in the um, pandemic anymore. Streaming will be a little bit different. Um... I know, I'm almost certain, Dan, that you're going to want to stream with me playing that quite often. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna want to really start to try and get good because I've been slacking on college. I played the, the beta a lot and I have really deteriorated in that game. So I need, I've been playing a lot of Halo and it doesn't translate <laughs> at all. So I need to, um, you know, pick up, pick up Call of Duty a bit more, get a bit better at it. And then I really want to take Warzone 2 a bit more seriously try to understand the mechanics enough to actually get good at the game um and potentially because you know you never know like warzone 2 might be very average but then this dmz mode that they're doing might be the next warzone do you know what i mean it might be it might be fantastic or they might both flop right we don't know but there's more room to try things out and uh, get a bit more serious with it so uh, yeah i'm excited to see where it goes and if me and dan are primarily big streamers on that we're probably going to be looking at the community to bring in some serious players and, and try and get good aren't we dan uh fuck it sure <laughs> yeah I'm sure whatever man i'm just along for the ride <laughs> see shooting over here muzzle flashes um just a dutch for the 10 euro let me let me get in this firefight and then i'll read it buddy okay let me finish this firefight off and then I'll read it. Firefight? I'm in a firefight, mate. Ooh. It's a good one as well. Oh, Although... Hi. Yolo! Hey! Oh, we got a quad coming in. Uh, uh, you know what? At first it was a joke. If you 
down i'll make it happen for you also after cod if you want a 101 on siege i'm down lol you know i could definitely pick siege up for ps5 and and have another go is it cross play is siege cross play i doubt it I could have sworn they announced it a while back post. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something that I know people aren't gonna like. Well, uh, Siege feels like garbage to play on console. It's okay. So, and I, I really do just mean how it controls, because it feels like a game from 2015. I mean, it is yeah, it so is a game like, from 2015. <laughs> but I, uh, I know, but there's like input lag and it's so clunky. I know what you're saying. Like it is on PC. So I played Siege an absolute crap ton when Steph was pregnant with Silas. And I actually got really good at it. And I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. But again, it's definitely a game that the more you put in, the better you get at it. And you start to understand how the controls work a lot on console. But it takes, it takes a long time. It's not something right. that you can just pick up and play like Call of Duty. Or battlefield in a sense. Not much dip on this weapon, is there? Ooh, this M5 is starting to feel good. You got an M5? Yeah, the M5A3. Full AR. I got some uh, attachments unlocked for it. I'm not seeing many people around here anymore. I see you, Dan. Guy just came down from it's A1. Good. He's shooting left. I shot him. This game shot. does play much better than it used to. It's still not like. It's not what you know, I wanted. It's still not reaching the heights of like Battlefield One or Battlefield Four, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's definitely something that's gonna hold me off until Modern Warfare Two. Yeah, the whole one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until tomorrow. Uh, let's have a good chat. Saying, question about Modern Warfare Two is available for PC. Yes, it is. Is it on Steam or is it still the Blizzard uh, application? Uh, both now. Wow, I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad they've done that. They needed that. Um, yeah, Very pro consumer move. If you want to play Siege, please commit to PC. I know you're not comfortable with PC, but the return of investment is so much higher. And console, console just saying, yeah, yeah, definitely. On if I was gonna get back into it, it'd have to be PC. Now I don't know whether my well, I know my laptop would run it. I just don't know how well it would run it while also recording or streaming. So, that's something I'm going to have to investigate and do some tests with first. I'm working, but just want to pop in and say I love your content. Love the direction the channel is going. Keep it up, bro. Thank you so much, Craig. Hey, Mark's in the chat. Is this 2042? Yes, it is. And it actually isn't that bad. I'm actually having a bit of fun, actually. Actually, actually. Although I keep getting a lot of um stutters probably my internet connection there's something kind of fun about being garbage at the game yeah i'm not this this is the thing right with call of duty i'm like i need to get good at it with this i'm just like okay well whatever if i'm shit i'm shit i don't really care you know yeah there's it's that simplicity that i you know we haven't really experienced for a long time of just like you know just play the game enjoy it if you do well cool if you don't it's fine you know, it is what it is. I felt the need to be sweaty for so long. Yeah, being sweaty just ain't it anymore on this game. It's definitely a casual game, in it? I think, do you, yeah, know what, do you know what it is as well? Is when I think of serious, like, working hard on a game, I think of when we were playing Warzone and we were really fucking trying hard. And oh, there was times when we were pissed about, but you get what I'm saying. When we were really like, okay, let's get the dub, and we worked hard. Um, I that's what I compare serious to now and just casual gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Like I sweated my nuts off during the Modern Warfare beta, mostly because he kind of had to to do well. Yeah. It was sweaty, wasn't it? Ooh, someone just rocketed me. It was very sweaty. It was very sweaty. Definitely some uh. Pretty hefty SBMM. What am I getting hit by? Jesus Christ. Uh, just the Dutch with another 10 euros. Thank you. Um, yeah, I've been playing Siege since the beta. I played the beta for Siege, actually, when it, when it was out. Um, going semi in year four and five. You were four to five. Also, you missed 
a 10 explaining why siege ain't at its end yet you missed a 10 explaining why siege ain't at its end yet i don't get that i don't get what you're trying to say there but thank you for the 10 euros i appreciate it i mean hey if anyone wants to give me one warfare 2 i'm right here <laughs> arc <laughs> Like, you're not just going to buy it anyway. I know, right? He's definitely going to buy it. Why spawn me right there? Might as well be sat on his lap. Jesus Christ. Ooh. I'm in so much danger. I missed the dono? Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Thank you again for another 10 years. It says, also, they said they want 100 operators in the game. And right now we have like 63. I'm pretty sure it's a long way to go. There's 63 operators now? Wasn't it like eight Jesus. when the game came out? Holy cow. No, there, were, there, were like, there were like, what, maybe 10, 15 per side? Yeah, I think you might be right there. There wasn't many. 63? Jesus. Also, Jendit's in the chat. What's happening, mate? How are you, Ryan? How's things? I see that you're covering a lot of the Russia stuff still. Uh, did you hear that Russia are doing a... Uh, like a call-up, aren't they? They're trying to get people to join. They're trying to call young people up. And now that every single flight outside of Russia is um, fully booked, apparently. Because everyone's like, yeah, nah. I don't blame them. Yeah, morale for this war has been low since the beginning. Yeah. One down. You boy got a kill. Reloading, cover me. Come on, let's... Ah! I try to move, but I keep getting sniped at. Yeah, there's some snipes on top of this ridge. That dude just stood there, just chilling. Straight chilling. Oh, that's oh, I got him! Um, headshot! It was! You wearing my freaking waterproof jacket? Let me show everyone. You look, you look like you're gonna drown in that, babe. <laughs> Down to your knees, literally. What's going on there, chat? Oh! We got a tornado inbound or some shit? <gasps> tornado? Tornado. You're gonna hear the kids in the background guys. This is another thing I want to address as well. If I'm gonna be doing more streaming um, Expect me to stream and the kids be in the background. I'm a dad. I live on a six on a 40 foot bus Like expect to hear kids in the background guys. Okay, let it be a normal thing Uh, What's uh -oh. gender say? Uh -oh. Yes, a mass right mobilization Um, Check Discord. Oh wait, no Great to see you streaming again, man. Oh, thank you, Jenda. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ryan, did you hear that um, Steph and I are thinking of moving back to England? Um, it would be absolutely awesome, Ryan, if we... Well, when that does happen. If and when that does happen. It's looking like it's probably going to happen. But we should totally hang out. We should totally hang out. Get stuffed, you absolute bell end. a robo dog i'm actually oh, kind of enjoying not, uh, this anyone else enjoying this uh luke have you ever been to georgia before savannah is super cool place i have not no oh yeah we did go through it we drove through it in fact no didn't we stay one night I think we stayed one night, actually. Um, mod me up, lot. There's a night stand joke to be made there somewhere. Mate, if you move back, you got to come stay at mine. Yeah, we definitely do that. I'm actually, we're, we're like figuring out how much it's going to cost to import the bus to England. It's looking about four to five grand to do it. But at the same time, right? So I have a lot of books and stuff, uh, which I would want to bring with me to the uk which means some sort of 
importation of moving all that gear, which would in turn cost about three to four grand. So we could just load everything up in the bus and bring the bus. Um, so it would work out. I can't get the shot off. Um, so we're thinking of being the bus, which means you can come and visit the bus, that, uh, Ryan, if you want. Um, just the Dutch again with the 10 euros again. Thank you very much. So what's up with the moving back to the UK? If so, if you want, want to grab a beer sometimes, I'd love that. Yeah, we totally should. So Steph and I have had a lot of thinking. It's, it's a lot, you know, it's a big commitment, right? And it's not so much where do we want to live, although, although that is a big factor. It's more of a where do we want to raise our kids, right? That's a big factor right now when it comes to uh, where we want to live. And the idea of the, the bus in general was to find our place. And we genuinely feel that um, schooling would be um, a bit more appropriate in the UK. For many different reasons, and I'm not going to get into it. I'm sure you understand why. Um, and it's also, it used to be that it was much cheaper living in the US... Uh, but that's not the case anymore. It's actually pretty much the same, if not more expensive to live here. Food is way more expensive here. Um, and the cost of living is going up dramatically in the US. So when you look at the cost of living um, and how expensive it is, but then weigh up the fact that in England, with that cost of living, you get free healthcare, cheaper schooling, all this extra bits and bobs... It just seems like it might be a better idea for us. And again, like I said, it's not about us. It's more about raising kids. Live in Birmingham? I'd rather shit in my hands and clap, mate. Um, <laughs> it's looking like Northern Wales or Scotland or maybe even something like um, Cornwall. Maybe Manchester if we can find decent land, but we need to buy land to put the bus on. Start a just... Start a just giving man. Start a just giving man to move to the UK. I don't get what you're saying. Go fund me? A go fund me? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. He's speaking in what? tongues. No, gender said start a just giving man. I think it was a typo. Ryan, get your thumb squared away. <laughs> Luke coming back to take advantage of the UK benefits. Hey, if there's anyone who can take advantage of it, it's someone who served in the military in the UK, right? East London, Luke? No, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, go. Yeah, he meant a GoFundMe. I could do a GoFundMe. I don't. I feel a bit cheeky though. I, I'm too British to do stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Too I feel. I feel fuck? like awkward asking for money. To better our lives. Too British. Oh! My man just did a flip. Yeah, go for me. Might be a good idea. I'm selling my house. The Lake District is a good is also a good uh good idea. Trigger fingers. <laughs> Damn trigger fingers. <laughs> did the stream crash? Okay, it might have happened. Um the stream will dip. And then come back every now and again, guys. Just be aware of it. It's because I'm streaming on Starlink. If we're going to make this a thing, we've got to get used to these bits and bobs. And I've got to figure out how to get around it. This is a test stream. Okay? It's, it's a way of me figuring out how we can stream and enjoy it without many interruptions. Okay? Yeah, Luke, you already took my money for the stupid heater. I tell you what. The wood stove is installed. I installed it. We've used it a couple times, and it's absolutely fabulous. Um, I recommend uh, maybe Steph can put a picture on my Instagram or something, on my story, if you haven't seen this wood stove already. Mate, hold the helicopter still, for Christ's sake. Jesus wept. Getting dizzy here. Oh, my dude, he's floated. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my days! What's going on? Your boy. Um everyone peaks English any everyone peaks English? Sure. And your kids will be multilingual. 
<laughs> yeah. Everyone peaks English. I'm just going to get the rounds down. Oh, mate, this guy just stood there doing naff all. I can't get... I'm doing a flip in this chopper and everything, mate. I need to get the hell out of here. The enemy holds the majority of Jeez. Yeah, Luke, you can get a holiday house in Uzbekistan. Mate, I'd rather live in the mountains of Afghanistan with a Kandahar giant. Um, Steph. Did we put any pictures of the wood stove on Instagram? Do you want to just... No, 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 no. I just... Do you want to do a little cheeky post so people can see the wood stove? Is that okay? Why are you here? Why are we at E1? What are we doing? Ain't going anywhere else? There was a lot of baddies there a minute ago. Okay, we'll have a, have a craft. Stream has been going great here. My end in the UK, no props. Awesome. Thank you, Alan. I really enjoyed your Resident Evil 2 video last night, even when the audio was lost. Can't wait to see more Resident Evil 2. I'm excited to play. I'm, do you know what, Dan? I'm genuinely enjoying playing them games. So, I haven't played them before. It's new to me. Um, I played the newer Resident Evils. Um, but I'm genuinely really enjoying it. Like, I think it's a really good story. And, they, and it actually feels good to play. I was worried that with it being an old game that's remade, it might be a bit clunky with the controllers. It's actually really fun. I'm in the vehicle yeah, with you. No, dude, the, the remakes were really well done. Yeah, I'm I'm genuinely enjoying it. I didn't think I would enjoy it, but I am really enjoying it. All right, tornado time. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna get killed first, so I'm gonna get out. Oh, I'm out. Wow! There you go, Dan. <laughs> Take me to your leader. <laughs> oh wait, it threw me right at A two. Let's go. <laughs> oh mate, it's throwing me a complete opposite way. Uh, we should do an original human community Bigfoot hunt. Let's do it. <clears throat> Someone is taking pot shots at me. I mean, why not, right? He's yet to hit one. He'll keep. Oh man, I'm going to be one. Let's go. C one. Oh no. Are they birds? Oh, they're birds I'm shooting at. Fuck's sake. Have I got my parachute up? I do. Alright, well, let's just go for a little trek. Hello, hope you're doing well. Would love a live stream of Infinite Warfare campaign. Playing through seeing as your videos got copyrighted. I'm kind of done with that game. I tried a few different ways to, to stop it from happening, and I was just like, fucking pointless. Pointless. Oh my god, I can't hit anything. Gets the rock. Shit. My internet dipped then. Let's hope. Can you hear me, Dan? Yeah. Okay, it looks like my internet dipped then. This is what we're expecting. Uh... Yeah, these maps are still dog shit. Yeah. They're really bad. <laughs> will you be streaming the Modern Warfare 2 beta this weekend? You're goddamn right, I will. Yeah, what? Well, it starts tomorrow, right? That's tomorrow. I'm so down. I don't think I'm going to be around until late. I got classes all day. You do? Yeah. That's fine. Um. Like, you're not going to be on it both times. <laughs> I know, I'm going to be on it a lot. I'm going to be streaming it. Steph's working all weekend, so I'll probably stream every now and again. Uh, but I'll also be on dad duty. So the kids will just be running around and ask you. I'll have to take a few breaks every now and again and feed them and make sure they're alive. Do you know what I mean? Oh, uh, unnecessary. <laughs> I just heard Steph in the background go, babe. <laughs> Here we go. Your boy. Maintain 
No scope tornado kill. Let's go. <laughs> Mate, the parachute is so shit. Yes. Now I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely stuck. The goat Peter Crouch got a hero card in the new view. Did he really? <laughs> Peter Crouch. I bet his heading ability is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, man, I'm in the middle of nowhere here. Is the tornado coming? Because I'll definitely take that lift. Let's use a tornado as like a taxi thing these days. What happened to the original adventures? We got busy. <laughs> Here we Steph. Steph, do you want to come and give him an update on original adventures? <laughs> You need to you need to speak and you need to pop your head on. There's a tour. That's our most recent video. And Is it really? Is that the most recent? I think so. But also it's not my like number one priority. Well What's your number priority? Number one priority. Kids and then I have a job now. It's true. It's true. And it is true. Yeah, my internet's Cutting down a little bit every now and I'm gonna pop him back on. Let's see what games I got downloaded on here. After 24, I got Resident Evil 3 ready to go, boys. Destiny 2, Pathfinder, Riders Republic, Ghost of Set Streamer, because I really want to play that. On a ring. <clears throat> Three kills. What a monster. Your boy got the dub. <laughs> 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 uh, wasn't it fun when we used to stream all the time it was shouldn't we do that more Don't often stop. probably just a Dutch with another 10 euros, mate. Splashing out today. I appreciate it. Hey, mate, I got another offer for you. If you want, me and my mates play a lot of armor. So if you want to join, most of them are vets currently serving. So it's so much fun um, taking it way too serious. Offer is open. Mate, so this is the situation, right? If I can get the PC to play while streaming, right? Because it is just a laptop. I am super down to learn mouse and keyboard. If I'm going to be streaming more, I think that would be fun, right? Um, but I got to do some tests. I got to make sure that I can actually go ahead and um, stream and record, um, stream and play at the same time on the same PC. Um, if it doesn't work, then we're going to have to wait until Steph and I um, build an office. Because when we buy land, whenever that is in the next few years, we're going to build a tiny house specifically as just an office for me. And I'm very excited. It's going to be mostly books. <laughs> if you think Mr. X is bad enough, wait till you see the nemesis in Resident Evil 3 remake. Don't spoil it for me. I don't want it. I don't want it. Who's been watching House of Dragons? It's been phenomenal. I would say, and Game of Thrones is still my favorite TV series of all time. Even though it didn't end the best, I know. I still think, with the amount of impact it had on um, TV in general, I still think it's, um, in my opinion, the best TV series of all time. Um, we won't get into that. But what I am trying to say is the first series of House of Dragons may be as good, if not a little bit better, than the first series of Game of Thrones. It's really that good. Although, there's not Game as many stacks in it. Game of Thrones is not bad. Game of Thrones is bad. Though. Why is Game of Thrones bad, Dan? Yeah, uh, because it is. No. That's, that's not a correct answer. Yeah. Not a correct answer. I mean, come on, when you compare it to a masterpiece, like Sword Art Online, I mean, how can you even compare this to? You can't compare Game of Thrones exactly, to an anime. Compare. Thank you for agreeing. Because they're not two things that can be compared together. 
Game of Thrones Correct. is, yes. in my opinion, not only the best, Force but the most line. successful TV show of all time. The man who passes the sentence must swing the sword. It is, it is the best. It is the best. Also, the books are fantastic. Andor came out today. I know it came out today, and I haven't seen it yet. Me and Steph are going to sit down and watch it today. We've got so many good TV shows on right now. Thursdays, Andor. Fridays, Rings of Power. No, yeah. No, Wednesdays, Andor. Thursdays, Ring of Power. Fridays, Great British Bake Off. And Sunday, House of Dragon. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Why is this guy here? Do you watch Great British Bake Off? Yes. Fantastic show. show. Fantastic. Terrible show. Fantastic. We watch um, To Tie Us Over. We watched um, the kid. What's, what's the kid version called, Steph? Junior Bake Off. Fantastic. Terrible Bunch of kids making a mess. I don't have to clean it up. Fantastic. Horrible show. Hey, mate, your stream restarted and it sounded like you answered my question. What you say? Um, yeah, so if the stream... I apologize if you disappeared and then appeared again um, because of my internet. Basically, I have to wait to see if I can... Oh, my God, the internet went on it. Yep, the, inter the internet might be back now. Um, just, just the Dutch person. Get this freaking answer without cutting the internet for a second, please. Hey, yeah, there's someone like right on my body if you want to kill them. I got him. I'm coming for you. Thank but you. yeah, not only do I need to make sure that I can play the game and stream at the same time, but I also need to play the game in a way that doesn't look shit, right? I don't need the settings to be all the way low and all that good stuff. All right. So, yeah. My wife's being weird right now. Yeah, my internet's struggling right now. Is everyone... Get get June off the internet. No, you can... She'll still be able to watch it. Get stuffed, you turd! <clears throat> Ow. Just got oh! Down. Yeah, it is well. You should start oh, training like your young'uns to crazy. star in the Bake Off. That would actually be a really good idea. Um, although, I don't know how much Silas would want to... He loves the idea of baking, but then he'd be like, yeah, I'm done with this, and just leave a mess, and then walk away. So, yeah. Hey, Viking Dumont. Dumont, how's it going, mate? I recognize the name. I recognize the name, but I can't remember who you are. It's been a long time since I've streamed. Should we change weapons? Let me show this. <laughs> One Jedi. I'm not revealing that comment. <laughs> not revealing it. All right, let's change... Saucy, are we? With your book, where is it? I convinced my wife to read Mistborn, a Brandon Sanderson book, and I'm very excited to hear her opinion on the ending. Um, yeah, none of you know anything about it, I'm sure. If there's any Brandon Sanderson fans out there, let me know. I am the no, biggest Brando Sando Fando. I'm coming for you, Dan! <laughs> Oh, wait, you're up there. How do I get up? Oh, there's more ladders. One second. Did you die? Oh, are you back? Oh, you're dead. Oh. Hey, Luke. Yeah? Y you want to know something crazy? What? Brandon is bad. <laughs> you Insane say that Brandon's bad, but... Yeah. But... Big old but. He has the most successful Kickstarter of all time. Times two. He literally right. beat the most successful Kickstarter of all time and doubled what theirs was. That's remarkable. That's unbelievable, well, isn't it? Author. You're an ob. Stop getting on here to tease me. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I don't want it. 
I don't want to. I don't I'm want to. Give you a hernia, I know you are. Is anyone oh, else hey, here a Brando like Sando right Fando? What's up? There's a guy right above you looking down the stairwell. You boy's gonna get him. He's behind the stairwell. Behind the stairwell. He's waiting for you. Ha ha ha! You knob! Your boy got him! Um, yeah, I was watching you when you were streaming on Twitch every other day. Oh, mate, I'm glad you're here. Uh, on top, above you, on top, again. Oh, right out. Oh, I got deaded. I got the assist at least. Get back here, Dan. Um, I'm thinking man, I'm gonna... I'm just... Sorry, go on, Dan. I'm just trying to live. I'm just trying to survive, man. So my intention was to actually stream on Twitch again like we used to. Um, I did a couple polls, though, and I think it's just wise uh, with a couple of things in the background that I'm not going to talk about, but other reasons that YouTube would be a better platform for me right now to stream on on a regular basis. So turn on notifications because we are going to be streaming quite a bit over the next few months, and I'm very excited. They offered him a date with Brando Sando. He couldn't refuse. Yeah. <laughs> Clap them cheeks. <laughs> wow. Wow. How disrespectful. You would clap his cheeks? <laughs> you heard it here first. Luke wouldn't bend over for, for Brando Sando. Am I allowed to say this? I don't know. I hope I'm allowed to say this. I don't know. I'm sorry, Mr. Sanderson. If anyone comes to the stream thinking that it's a PG stream, that's on them. That's on them. <laughs> uh, one Jedi boy, a member for 15 months. What's the plan with card zombies? Um, well, if we're streaming a bunch, I'm sure, you know, card zombies will appear every now and again. Um, it's not currently in its best state, zombies. But there's a lot of previous games, meaning the there's a lot of previous good games, meaning that we can potentially go back and play some. So, yeah. Um, uh, Luke, that was so disrespectful. Well, the the two people camping that I went and killed, we were sat on top of the building and I just destroyed them like an absolute legend. Mate, like this guy here, what are you doing? I'm getting the kills up here. People are sitting up here. What is it? People think this is like the rest area. You come here and get a bit of a lie down and chill. But Luke, you hide comments and have swearing hidden, do I? Oh, yeah, that's why it keeps reviewing them. Yeah, maybe, but, you know, I can do what I want. <laughs> I think you underestimate how um, risque comments can get. Yeah. Comments more than, like, my comments. Like, I can swear. It's not... It, it might get demonetized, but... Like, I have it so the swearing is, like, known on this... On my channel, right? It's like an option when you upload a video. Um, yeah. But if, if it's... If it's a, if there's a lot, then you're going to get demonetized. I've never had a problem with it, well, luckily. stupid. I think people, um have more of a problem with it when they say that there isn't swearing in their channel and then they swear in the channel. You have to be upfront with what's on your channel when you upload a video. And if you're not honest, that's when things get a bit rough. You get all these people saying, oh my God, I swore and I got demonetized. They probably said there was no swearing in it, you know? And I get that there's an incentive to say that there isn't because there's more ads that can be played on your channel then. But being honest is, you know, the most important. It is. Um, trust me, no one wants to talk about the newer zombies. Yeah, I've heard that the Cold War... Is it Cold War zombies just wasn't doing it for people? I, we played it once, Cold I think, War on the stream. Vanguard. Oh, Vanguard. I well, no, Cold War wasn't bad. It just wasn't, like, enough content. Okay. Vanguard was... Bad, bad. Was it really? That's a shame because Zombies oh, has got yeah, so much potential. Terrible. Zombies has got a lot of potential. Luke killing campers while camping. It's true. It's a true story. Uh, Dutch, I'll read your comment in one second. Let me just go and try and get the dub. <laughs> People are very campy in this game now. What? People are very campy in this game. Yeah, it's definitely a game that promotes more camping. 
than let's say like a Call of Duty game. Can I, if I jump off this, can I pull shoot? Yes, I can. Your boy's going in. Hey, Luke. If you want to start zombies, remember I sent you a list of maps to play from Battlefield. Um, so it's cheaper than buying all the games. Um, Ancients like the newer ones. Yeah, so I have got that list the still. Ops 3 thing, right? Yeah, I saved you the list. It was free on PlayStation Plus. I've got it. Like, yeah, Black I've got Ops it. 3 with a bunch of the zombie maps. Yeah. Um, which is a great deal because some people buy Call of Duty just for the zombies. If anything, they should split the two these days. I think it would be even more wise for them to do... You know, like how they were doing a yearly thing, like every year a new Call of Duty. It'd be wise if it was more like a... A year Call of Duty regular game, a year Zombies, do you know what I mean? Like, a year New War Zone. Like, if they split it up like that, I think they would have more potential for better content in the long run. Yeah, I agree. If we got, like, every other year some kind of spin-off, whether that be, like, a remake or a Zombies game or yeah. just something. Yeah. I think so. I'm really, I'm really intrigued yeah. to see how this two-year break goes for Call of Duty. Um... I think it's a great idea. I really do. You boys going for a fly. <gasps> oh, I wanted to go for fly, but it says you're in combat. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just floating now. Uh, what's people saying? It had eight months of no content. Really? That's really, that's a shame. And the thing it is, is with it, it is a big deal. It is a big deal. Launch, they added round-based zombies. That was like big news. Really? Can you imagine that? Round-based zombies being an insane update. Hmm. That's rough. Yeah. I think mostly because we know that we only have a year with a Call of Duty game until this one. You expect to have regular decent updates, right? Because you've got a year. If you go eight months without no content. That's gonna suck. That's a long time. Yeah. But do they care? No, they already got your money. Yeah, true. I think ba Battlefield 2042 really did me over with that. They were straight up like, oh, it doesn't work. You don't like it. We'll give up on it then. That's shocking. <laughs> Pretty much. That's shocking. We've already got a lot of pre-orders. Most people are not going to get refunds. Oh, well. We'll bring out a new one next time. It's as if yeah, they... Yeah, we'll say that we learned from our mistake. Exactly. And the next game, what kills me with EA lately, they love this term. Love letter to the fan. Mm. Every time now. Do you know what else they Jeez. do, though? What's that? Is they turn around and say, this game's going to be live service. So there might not be much content now, but there's going to be a lot of content in the near future because it's live service. But then what happens is it's not live service because they give up on it. So you, what happens is you get a game that's incomplete because they said it's going to be more content added. And then they just give up on it and they've got you $60 and that's it. Do you get what I'm saying? $70. And that <laughs> is ridiculous. Is ridiculous. Yeah, I hate the live service. Thank you for the res, whoever that was. So they're using the excuse of a live service to not put much content in the game and then ditch. And that should be grounds for a lawsuit. It should. How'd he shoot me? He was facing the other way. Um, I just got quick scope to hell and back. God damn. Can't send as much money as Dutch, but I do. Just being here is is what matters. Okay. Oh, mate, I didn't mean to go in a chopper. I can't see shit, man. I don't know about you. Yeah, it's nuts, isn't it? Um, hey, Luke, just trying the stream question. Any plans on trying out the Modern Warfare 2 beta? I've got a few people saying this. Me and Dan absolutely played an ungodly amount of the beta this weekend just gone, and we really enjoyed it. I'm... Doing this as a test stream because I plan on streaming quite a bit with this weekend coming in the Modern Warfare beta. Okay, I plan on streaming quite a bit. So, um, yes, I will be streaming it. We'll be having some fun. Um, and I'm hoping there's a few little new things this weekend on the beta. I'm hoping there's a few little updates or maybe a new map to try. They, or... they already talked about the update list. Uh, 
biggest changes is footstep audio is going way down. They're looking at fixing the whole fact that you can still slide cancel. Um, they're standing firm on the minimap and the perk system. Okay. Which it sounds like they're getting the feedback that they wanted and then being like, well, we think this is better. Hmm. Which not uh not a good way to handle feedback but right um uh, my my interest is is there going to be a few new maps to try out and what's going to go so. on with the progression of the weapons are they going to reset the progression and are they going to get rid of the mp5 um i don't know they're probably going to expand though like, right they usually do this with the betas is that it gets a little bigger each time yeah yeah so let's just um stand by either way even if it's the exact same beta as what was last weekend with zero updates which isn't gonna be the case but if it was we're still gonna play a ton of it and we're gonna have a lot of fun so get excited um i think what we'll do um is i'll probably go in voice chat with dan and mark and whoever's playing the stream with me um and then for a certain period of the stream going into chat on the private discord and maybe pulling in a few members and playing with some members depending on what platform well i mean it's cross platform now isn't it um dutch with another 10 euros thank you so much dutch i, I really appreciate it this one is for blaze thank blaze for this one not me i'm not here also we don't talk about vanguard the game is like the kid no one likes, but no one can get rid of. That's it. Pure garbage. Um, okay. Can I just say, though, the the Vanguard story was actually pretty decent. It was actually a pretty decent story. If you regard it as completely fictional, if not a little bit fantastical, um, it was actually a pretty decent story, the campaign. The multiplayer just wasn't it, was it? And the integration with Warzone, but can you blame them? Warzone wasn't intended to have so many integrations with it. I think it was. Really? I heard that it wasn't. I heard that it was not meant to have that many integrations at all. And that's why they're doing a Warzone 2, is to make something that has the ability to have more appropriate add-ons. That's what I heard. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, man. All I know is that from the first integration from Cold War on, that was rough. Mm. Yeah. Remember that golden era of Warzone? Yeah, it was when it was new. No one knew what the hell was going on. No well, it was the first was year. Bad. It was the first year. We had some yeah, fantastic actually, updates. I think the uh, the Kilo meta. Oh was yeah. The golden... No, actually, I'm going to retract that because that was when the R9 0 with Incendiary was spammed. The golden era was probably the um, the Grau meta. That, yeah, that's exactly when it was. I was obsessed with the Grau, weren't I? Yeah, and I know we might be biased because that's when we all started playing. But like... Or playing together, rather. But that was... It was fun. No, balance was decent. There were some things that were maybe a little strong, but nothing that was like in your face like aggressively strong yeah which was a good place to be at yeah but, um uh, just so people are aware get the dmr um after this game we're gonna i'm gonna call it i'm gonna call the stream um i think to be honest um and i think chat and dan would probably agree with me it's it's actually been pretty successful we've had very few dips um we know that starlink the internet i'm using <clears throat> excuse me is gonna get better with time um, and since I last streamed, they've already put two rockets up with extra satellites. So, um, it's only going to get better. And I think this is probably... If I can iron out the kinks now, um, streaming's only going to get more and more fun as Modern Warfare 2 comes out. So, um, I think it's been a successful stream, Dan. What do you think? Sure. Fuck okay. <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, dude. Oh god, that's a dying chopper. Oh god, that's <sighs> dying me. Get any last quizzes in about streaming now? Because I don't think there's long left of this game, and then like I said, I'm calling it after this game. So if you've got any any quizzes about the channel and streaming in general on this channel, uh let me know now. Uh if I donate a hundred dollars, will you eat a whole pickle? Uh <sighs> 
I'd it's for the pro children. I probably wouldn't know. It's for the children, Luke. I don't give a fuck. Eat a pickle for your children. Do you know how sick I felt after that stream? I felt so sick pickles? after eating them pickles. It was unbelievable. Yeah. I'm getting sniped here, Dan. Yeah, so am I. What the fuck? They're just Bob and weave. Up on the sniper too. You can dodge a wrench. You can there. dodge a ball. Yeah, there's a guy up there. Oh, I see him. Oh, yeah, there he is. As yeah, they would I can say in fire the Marines. Shots in your relative direction too, buddy. Yeah. You need any stream overlays? I'll make some for you. Mate, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely fantastic. I used to use stream overlays when I used... Oh, you down? Did he get you? Yeah. Oh, mate. Yeah, I stood still and got bodied twice because he's hopping around and... Oh, he got me as well. Um, I used to use stream overlay overlays when I used um, Streamlabs OBS, but then I found out how much of an absolute terrible company they are, and I will never use Streamlabs OBS again. Um, so I just use regular OBS. You know about that company? I thought it was the same company as OBS. No, OBS is open source, completely open source, and Streamlabs is a company that takes that open source, makes their own program, and sells a premium for certain things. But they are known to steal a lot of content. And there's a few other really bad things that Streamlabs have done, which made me just, you know... Especially as someone who's done computer science and has a bit of an awareness of what it takes to make programs like this, I'm just like, nah, I'm out. I'm not using their stuff again. Oh, they're like stealing code? Yeah, this, they've done all sorts of nasty stuff. You can look it up. Ooh, time to uninstall. Yeah, mate. I wouldn't even bother with them. I get that they make a good product, but it's a... a they just copy a lot of stuff, don't give credit, and steal a lot of stuff. And there's, there's a lot of other really awkward stuff that's happened behind the scenes. Um, and I'm not about that. I'm all about open source, free reign, do what you want, um, and don't be a little turd. You are, so, yeah. you are a little hippie dippy at heart, aren't you? I am. I am a big Just hippie a at heart. Yeah, I'm a big hippie <laughs> at heart. Uh, Luke, when, will you play Resident Evil Village DLC when it comes out? I might do actually. Yeah. Um, looking forward to you streaming more. Yeah, so expect to see more streams than uploads now, I think. It's it's safe to say. I actually really enjoyed this. Um, I feel like it's up more my alley more than recording is these days. The story videos that I genuinely really enjoy doing, um, I might still do some. I'm not too sure yet. They're just not that popular. And I think, if anything, um, I might start a different channel for it because I genuinely really enjoy doing it. Um, it's just not as popular as I want it, want it to be. And I'm sure if I did it for two years, look at this guy bobbing and weaving. <laughs> it might become more popular, but um, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> go on, lad. You can do it. He dancing you over here. About? This guy over here dance. No, no, no. There's a guy down there that was like running in the open and I'm just spraying at him and he's bobbing and weaving. Oh, God, the sissy must have died. Bless him. Bless his heart. Uh, what's your day job? This, this is my day job. Oh, he answered my question. What was your question, Blaze? What was your question? Luke, when you run, do you fart when you run past people so they get... A whiff of gas. Um, no. When I run, um, my I have very, very little bowel movements. I, I very rarely have bowel movements when I run. And I'm very lucky in that regard. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Arting and shitting, it's all bowel movements, isn't it? It's all the same. One's gas, one's solid. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> How do we get on this topic? Uh, it's freaking blaze as usual. So, um, we've got to go out tomorrow, but I might try and stream in the morning some Modern Warfare 2 beta if you're up for it, guys, okay? Okay. But I'm going to call it there. I'm going to call it there. That was fun. That was really fun. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> 
So you uh, said you're time. at school tomorrow, Dan? You're not going to be able to stream? Uh, pfft, when are you streaming? I have no idea. I don't, it's, when's the beta actually out? When does it start? We need to figure that out first and then... Oh, right. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. what? Eastern time? Uh, yeah. So 11 p.m. my time, which means we po I probably won't be able to stream. Um, so it might be late or Saturday. That's late the deal. Stream? What's that? Late, late, late streams? Late streams sure. might not be as applicable anymore because of the kids. Their bed is literally, excuse me, like a foot away from me. So, I don't know. Original oh. human when I get the overlays and stuff done. Mate, if you could do that, holy shit. That would be unbelievable. It really would. Military themed overlays? Maybe something like that, Dutch? I don't know. You, you do you. Luke, are you ever going to do SCP content again? Um, potentially, yeah. Potentially. Potentially. All right, guys. It's been a pleasure. If you enjoyed this stream and you want to see more streams, like this video and subscribe. Okay? If you want to see me do more streaming like this, like, especially with the Modern Warfare coming out, which I'm very excited for, like the video. Other than that, that's it, guys. Have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next stream. Anything done? Uh.